We're here making ugly quilts today. They're not really quilts and they're not really ugly. Well, they are fabric that's been donated. Fabric, sheets, blankets, mattress pads, and we convert them into sleeping bags. This is why they are maybe ugly, because we don't know what colors and what fabrics are uh, going to come in. We average about 100 a year. Three of us make the covers at home, and they take anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours, uh, depending on the materials. If we had nice big pieces of material, uh, it doesn't take long, but if you have smaller pieces and you have to patch them together like a crossword puzzle, it takes a while. We don't really sew them, we don't really quilt them. We just take the needle in and out and tie a knot. We fill them with three layers and then we stuff them with a sweater, socks, gloves, a knitted hat, a ground cover, some literature, and we say a prayer over each one so that they know that someone is thinking of them and thinking well of them. Take the work of our hands and bless it, and in thy name let the person that receives this gift know that he is loved. Amen. And then we roll them up, and the ties, the men's ties, are what holds them together, and we make them a shoulder strap, and then take them down to Friendship House. So we're at uh, the Friendship House uh, Wilmington Empowerment Center. We serve the homeless population in Newcastle County, so f families and individuals experiencing homelessness. For about 20 years now, we've been recipients of the quilts. Most people uh, in America are probably just a paycheck to or two away from experiencing homelessness at some point. We just want people to know that they're, they're the same as you or I. They just want to know that they're cared about and know that there's resources available to help them out and help them through their time. I think it's a human thing to do to help people in need. It's certainly making, filling a need that is ever present, unfortunately. I like recycling things, and so these things, whether they're uh, torn or holes in them, it doesn't matter, we can still reuse them and we're putting that material that probably would have been thrown away to good use for someone that needs it. We can always use supplies. We are very short of men's ties. We are always in need of men's ties. It doesn't matter if there's a soup stain on it. It really doesn't matter. I've been making some, some of our homemade neckties don't look very good, but they work. Any type of uh, fabric, supplies that they really don't have space for or need, that's the kind of thing that we hope that uh, they'll remember ugly quilts. It means a lot to them to be able to see that people in the community really care about them. And I know the ladies put a lot of time and heartfelt feeling into it. And it means a lot to meet those needs and know that people care. We've made a difference in somebody's lives. And, you know, for three hours that it takes us each week, you know, I think it probably makes a huge difference. It's important to me. It's not really quilting, it's just you tie a knot. Anybody can do that. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.